As we tell the bus drivers, you're the first person that the, represents the school system that child sees in the morning, and normally the last one in the afternoon. And a smile is free, but plays, pays great dividends. Sean adopted that philosophy, and he greets the drivers. And they come here, and there's a little ray of sunshine. It's called Sean, and he makes their day. So if you get a chance to come down to Glenwood Garage, you would get the Sean experience. Always have a smile on your face. You'll leave with a smile because Sean took time for you. He's not just there pumping fuel or checking oil. He's there to ask the driver how their day's going, to have a conversation with them, to send them off with a smile. For me, it's like you have a positive person in your life, you know, and uh, people are very negative lately, so and it's always good to see a happy face. And when I see Sean, I always see a happy face. They say you just you make them happier and you make all their days better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you think you do that? Be good. Try and be kind, nice. I'm trying to treat someone nice. <laughs> I like to be happy. Sean is a uh, serviceman's helper, and. Uh, he came into us in 1998 uh, as a summer helper, actually, and he was paid for the summer help, and then after the summer we wanted to hire him on, but it, the school system wanted him to have some sort of credentials to prove that he could do the job, so he worked for a whole year for free. But after that year, he was hired on here in 1999, so, you know, it worked out really well. It's been a great to have him out there, and he's kind of like a little ambassador for the garage. Sean's an important asset and he's also a success story for the school system. He came out of the CSEP program, lacking some skills, but needing skills. We were able to develop that program for him, get him in the system, and here we are 20 years later, and he's still working at it. Well, I think he's kind of unifying out there. He's a uh, person that the drivers see, that the techs see. Um, you know, the drivers are coming in off the road, and um, they get the opportunity to, to have him greet them out there at the island when they come in. He just kind of brings it all together. He's there for me. He does this for me at home, too. He goes out and st he started the bus every morning for me, and he starts the car every morning for me. He's a do person. If he knows somebody, appreciates it, he will do it. He'll go out of his way to do it. That's his passion, is his job, and then movies, and his Pepsi. He's got to have his Pepsi. <laughs> when he first came here, he had a hard time even communicating with us. And uh, he's developed his speech, and he's gone through a lot of uh, adversity, and he's overcome a lot of things. And I think everybody should understand that even with somebody that doesn't have every single ability, they're worth something. So if I could walk away with just a little bit of Sean in me, smile more, greet people nicely, and let people have a pleasant day, then I'm a better person for meeting Sean.